welcome back. The uh, fortune teller here just danced with us. Or well, she danced and we sort of stood around. Um, and she dropped her veil. Maybe we should give it back. Or maybe we should examine it first. The veil belonged to the fortune teller. It's covered with shiny, iridescent sequins. Those kind of remind me of something. Hmm, the um, let's take a look. Gabriel examines the veil with a magnifying glass. The fortune teller's veil is studded with sequins. That one looks kind of weird. That sequin looks a little strange. Why, it's a snake scale. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Um, oh, we can't do anything here. Um, so we can see if that scale matches the one we found at the lake. See, if her snake was the one that was present at those um, murders, similar as what we did with... Uh, the other snake before from Madame Moonbeam. We're becoming snake detectives in this game. Gabriel carefully uses the tweezers to remove the snake scale from the veil. Let's examine it. Gabriel has a scale from the fortune teller's boa. Um. Gabriel magnifies the scale from the fortune teller. The iridescent scale is hued olive green. It doesn't seem to match the scale from Lake Pontchartrain. So, different snake then. Anyway, um, let's talk to this fortune teller. Uh, let's see if she uh, wants her veil back. Did you lose a veil? Huh, my veil. I'm always losing those things. You have no idea. Well, darling, you're such a sweetie to return a lady's delicates and so handsome as well. Will I? And since you have such a clear interest in fortune telling, let me see your hands. They look so strong. Perhaps they will make both our fortunes clear, no? I wish something would. Hmm, strong. Yes, and no. yet so delicate and uh, flexible. <sighs> you don't know the half of it. Oh, good. I see a mysterious woman in your immediate future. Madame Lorelei winks at Gabriel, knowingly. She is a dangerous one. Dark and beautiful. Ah, I see the road of your life, folk. And very soon... <laughs> the blood drains from Madame Lorelei's face in an instant. Sweat beads on her upper lip. Are you okay? There are forces. Oh, God! Beware! Beware! That was kind of weird. What is it about me lately? Well, that did not bode well. At all. Madame Lorelei's booth is deserted. That's not the effect Gabriel usually has on women. And it seems that the woman she was talking about might be uh, a certain Malia Getty. Sounds likely. But the rest of the uh, prediction was sort of uh, less nice. The uh, lucky dog seller is still here. I wonder if he uh, went by black books. Um, actually, 
I want to go back to our store and ask Grace if she can look into... Lucy, a hall. Oh, joy. And see if she can look into those patterns we found. Or had reconstructed, anyway. Do you know anything about this? No, sorry. Um, okay, let's try the more usual approach. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Could you do some research for me? Sure, what? The pattern. I have a pattern I need you to research. How interesting. What is it? It's a reconstruction of the tracings they found around the murder victims. The ones done in flour and blood. Ugh! You shouldn't carry this kind of thing around. Who knows what these symbols mean? Well, wear your evil banishing gloves if you want. But check it out for me, would you? I'll see what I can find out. Anything else? I can't think of anything. Okay. Well, at least uh, it makes a change from ha having her research women. I've got some things I need to do. Don't hurry back on my account. Okay. Well, she's doing that. I think we should um, stop by the Dixieland drugstore. And see if we can acquire an animal mask. After all... Hi. Uh -huh. We have money. It is not... So... Oh, what the hell? Um, so, we can screw the rules now. Can I ask you just a few more questions? Whatever, man. Are you still interested in selling that crocodile mask? Or you show me a hundred dollars, and the mask is yours. Okay, I guess I just need to give him the money. There it is. One hundred dollars in cash. <laughs> That's the most money Gabriel had in his pockets in two years. So, let's uh, spend it on an animal mask, why not? I have a hundred dollars. You still want to sell that crocodile mask? That's a hundred dollars, sure enough. The mask, it's yours, sir. And now he has a uh, headless mannequin. Here you go. Carefully don't bite you now. Yeah, thanks. Don't you go for getting your lag me up? A free bottle of master gambling oil. The sign said I could get Lady Luck oil instead. Well, I wasn't thinking a man as young as you would be needing that kind of remedy. But if you're having problems with your... Oh, that's all right. Believe me, I don't need it. I'll just stick with this. Thanks, anyway. <laughs> of course, it ain't none of my business if you do need it. I don't need it. Of course you don't. Besides, none of this stuff works anyway. We heard you say so. Alright. Next up, I think we should try and pay a visit to Madame Kazolu. See if she has anything interesting to tell us about voodoo and stuff. The front door is solid hardwood and at least a century old. Gabriel stands at the door of an old French Quarter residence. The neighborhood is a little shabby, but this particular building is freshly painted. All right, let's see if she is home, and if she is willing to talk to us. Yes? Who is it? Magazine subscriptions for sale. Yeah, that worked really well with the butler. Um, well, she was interested in voodoo, so let's uh, ask about that. 
Hi, I'm doing an article on voodoo, and I heard that you... I am a good Catholic, young man. Take your evil influence elsewhere. But I just have a few questions. I can feel the evil eye. Go away. Hmm. It seems that um, Madame Kazunu is less than uh, enthusiastic about sharing her passion for voodoo. Yes. Who is it? I have some fine magazine subscriptions for sale. I'm sorry, but I'm not interested. I've got some great pet supplies. Could you, could you cool it, old doggy? Castro has everything he needs. Don't you, Castro? Thanks a lot, Castro. Not even a dog is willing to help us. Land shark. Land shark. You are no Bill Murray. <laughs> that was incredibly random. Please let me talk to you, Madame Kazonu. I don't talk to strangers, young man. Well, this is getting us nowhere. Too bad we don't have the uh, badge anymore. And I doubt we'll be able to steal it from Mosley again. Especially because the uh, cage was back on the temperature gauge. If you uh, may have noticed. But maybe there's someone else she'd be uh, willing to talk to rather than Gabriel. After all, she said she was a devout Catholic. And it just so happens we have uh, a priest outfit in our inventory. So let's try a disguise. Alright, but this is private. But you're doing it outside on the front steps of somebody's house. Ooh, very convincing. Is this convincing enough? I don't know, you still look kinda shabby. Oh well, we can try it at least. Yes? Who is it? Father McLaughlin to see ya. It's Father McLaughlin to see you. Well, Father, you should be ashamed of yourself being so ill-groomed. I'm sure the bishop would never approve. You can just go get a haircut before you come calling on me again. I know my duty, Father. But a priest seeking contributions should take pains to represent the church with respect. It seems that uh, Gabriel's hair is not doing him any favors today. Let's see if we can do uh, something about that in the next video.